Hey lovelies, it's Fab Jen. I am back and yes, I have a big huge afro on my hair and no, it's not my natural hair. This is a wig. I am washing my hair right now and it's tied up in a do-rag and I didn't want to put a baseball cap on and I didn't want to come on here with a beat face and then have a do-rag or a cap on so this was the quickest option. Anyway, I'm digressing. Today's review is going to be on the NARS Eda brush. It is $55. It has been out of stock for several months and now has been restocked by a lot of high-end retailers. And it is a contour brush that is very, very popular here on YouTube and amongst beauty lovers and brush collectors alike. And this is what it looks like. And it's fairly small and pretty light. I say it's about five and a half inches in length and maybe uh, a quarter of an inch in thickness as far as the bristles here are concerned. And I'll have a close up of that so you can see. Um, what I used to have in this hand are the brushes I used to use to contour with before I had this one. And the first of all, oh, this brush, uh, hands down, it's an excellent brush. I've had it for about three weeks. It was worth every dime. I did not like to wait for the brush. That's the only thing I didn't like. But uh, I'm happy that it is in stock now for a lot of people to grab. So if you want doubles of this, I can see buying a backup of this. Uh, if I had the extra money, I probably would. Uh, it's just that good. It doesn't bleed when you wash it and it doesn't shed when you wash it. It's soft, but it's not too soft. It's a nice firmness for a really precise contour. It blends like a dream. So once you apply your contour and you blend it out, it just looks effortlessly beat and just snatch. It just makes contouring that much more easier. That's what's so righteous about this brush. And I really, really do love it. And it's dirty right now because I've been using it pretty much practically every day. The brushes I used to use, which was the Sedona Lace Face Brush 05, use this religiously, would put the bronzer on the edge here, apply it, and then blend it out with the flat part of the brush. Then uh, I went to uh, the fan brush 134 fan brush here to chisel out a contour it's excellent but it it's more for a softer lighter contour and I felt like it was a little harder to control so but I still do like this one I still actually do use this for applying uh, a bronzer for a base contour then I go in with my darker contours and use darker bronzers and use this excuse me so I still do use this brush quite a lot uh, this one I haven't used in a while, but this one, this Makeup Forever 134, was it? Yep, yeah, 134 brush is, I still use it like for several different things. Then there's the Sonia Kashuk Special Edition brush here. She did have it in her regular line. This one sheds like crazy and it's too stiff, so it shifts my concealer and my foundation and it doesn't blend as beautifully as this one. Definitely worth the price. I like it, I love it, I adore it. If I had the money, which one day I will, right now I just don't, I will buy a back of it of it because I love it that much. It's perfect. It's the right amount of softness, it's the right amount of stiffness, the precision is on point and the blending is just fabulous. There's this isn't a special type of hair, it is a goat hair, but however, it's just it's just an absolutely beautiful brush. It's lightweight, travel friendly. If you're a brush collector, you need this in your life. If you are a makeup junkie and you are stepping your game up or want to invest in a nice brush collection and you love to contour for the gods, this has your name all over. I highly recommend it. Anyway, check it out at Nordstrom's, Bloomingdale's, and Barney's of New York. And I mentioned those because uh, two of them, Barney's of New York and Nordstrom's.com, give you free shipping regardless in the USA of how much you, how much an item costs. So you don't have to spend a certain amount to uh, get free shipping. However, uh, Bloomingdale's, you will have to spend fifty dollars or more in a beauty item in order to get free shipping and uh, quite honest I love Bloomingdale's but I can't stand their packaging and their shipping it's just like really for the price that you pay and the products sometimes they don't come in boxes they come in you know bubble wrapped uh, envelopes and I think that's really crazy but Barney's of New York 
and uh, Nordstrom's.com always comes in boxes and always comes UPS so I highly recommend those and all three of those companies have excellent return policies so say for instance this broke or it didn't work or it's shedding or something's defective about it they'll take it back their Neiman Marcus and Lauren Taylor do carry this brush Neiman Marcus is not good about the return policy they used to have an excellent return policy now they don't but if you have rewards with Neiman's or you like to shop through Neiman's and you know you're just gonna love this brush uh, go for it but if it's defective like after a month or something happens to it uh, you're probably stuck like Chuck with it just just saying that's no uh, no shade to Neiman's I'm just letting you know so if you not for sure about the investment into this brush and you not happy with it they'll take it back but I'm very happy with this brush I knew that once I got it I was not going to return it so it's an excellent brush anyway that's it for my mini review if you have any questions please feel free to ask even if it's about this wig here or what's on my lips which will be listed down below you're more than welcome to ask rate comment and subscribe if you like and I will see you lovelies later all right bye